Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. So now we're going to do the review of Lost Cities Rivals. So hopefully you've had a chance to check out the how to play and playthrough video. And as you notice, we're doing uh, videos on all four Lost City games that we have, as you call it, in the dynasty. No, the universe. The universe. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm making up words now. <laughs> dynasty. You said dynasty. <laughs> I said universe. <laughs> Uh, I think there is a fifth game that we don't own. I don't, oh, okay. I don't remember which one it is, but uh, we're comparing all four games. Mm -hmm. So this is our review of this game. And as I've said in other reviews, you can tell if the back of the box is well designed. So that way, if you're a retailer or a consumer picking it up, if you can tell. What's going on. What's going on. Yeah. So this really doesn't explain the game that adequately. Nope. Uh, it is a bidding game. And you're going to be revealing uh, cards that you can be used to make sequences on expeditions. And if you can see here, there are little feet on the cards that are worth points. Using the other Lost City games, it's the number that helps you get points. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you either reveal a card or bid on the cards that are there. And when you bid, you can take all the cards, one card, some of the cards, it's up to you, or you can take no cards. And the other choice that you have is that you can discard a card. And why would you do that? Because you can discard a card that somebody else may want to use. So this is a, a three-player game as shown here. And what's different than the other Lost Cities games is that it introduces bidding. So if you really want to, instead of taking uh, revealing a card, you can bid. And so you just you keep on bidding until everybody passes, and the person that wins the bid has to put in all their coins, and those who participate in the bid can take their coins back. And the game ends when you go through, you divide the deck into four piles, and it ends when you ha uh, get through all four piles. And there's no negative points in this game. Yeah. So whoever has the most feet, you do have wager cards, which you'll see these little hands, if you can <laughs> see the little hands here. So again, this is why this is not so the- so tiny. <laughs> and this is not why this is not the best back of the box. That gives you multipliers. So again, it score the most oh, points. There are bigger hands right there. Yeah, well, still. Still. <laughs> again, I like to do this. Some people might say, why don't you just show what's inside the box? Well, you can always look at the how to play and play through video, but it's also an, an exercise. And could you, is this an effective, because the back of the box is a marketing tool. Oh, when sure. When you're in the store, this is what you'll look at. Now online, they'll check out videos and things oh, like that, true, I'm sure. Oh, true, true, yeah. All right, so uh, if you have never seen one of our, our reviews before, we come up with the reasons separately. Mm -hmm. Julie uh, will go first, yes. and then we'll give you our ranking. I always get to go first. All right, so here we go. All right. Well, uh, I was neutral on the components. Yeah, they're okay. It's just, you know, cards and the little coins. It's nothing too it's average. fancy schmancy. Yeah. yeah. Um, we have not played it with more players, but it this might work better. I'm not sure. We've only played it as two players. And, you can, and it was okay. You can go up to four. You can go up to four. Yeah. Um, okay, now come the bad parts. Um, I think this is kind of a mean game because you can really uh, make someone bid more than what you than you, what you really wanted just to make them deplete their money. You can take cards. Uh, like David was saying, you can, um, well, you can bid for them and take them from that person or you can Discard is what you call the babe. Well, remember you you can not only bid to take a card card or cards for yourself, but then you can get rid of a card rid that of other card. players yes. may want. So this is probably the That's most kind mean. Of mean. And I just don't like mean at yeah. all. I think it's the most mean of the four lawsuits. I games. agree. I yeah. agree. It's kind of boring in the two player game because I mean it's just the two of us and you kinda right. know what the other person's gonna do. Granted, all the cards are out in the open anyway, whether it's two or four players. But still, it's just two people. It's kind of like, eh, okay. Well, so there's not much tension. It's mm -hmm. kind of like, oh, I guess I'm going to get this. and Yeah. And, That's why when you watch the playthrough, you'll see me kind of like, yeah, okay, go ahead. I don't care. Because <laughs> it's just like, I don't really want it. And if he wants it, he can spend his money to get it. No, you, you know? could bid me up, but then I could just pass just to spite and you. And then I would lose my money. Yeah. So I don't want to do that. And the thing that I really dislike the most is the bidding itself. I just, I think it kind of slows the game down. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's just, I'm not a fan of it. And I, I know I've played other games that there's bidding. I can't think of them right now, but I'm sure <laughs> I have. You have. And yeah. I don't know if I, cause again, 
with my memory loss. I don't remember if I liked them or not, and maybe I did. But for right now, for this game, I just did not like it. I yeah. just didn't. Yeah, we've played other bidding games. I think this is, I've ever seen be this negative on a bidding game yeah. that I can think of in recent memory. So. And I think it just adds into the other things. that it's, It just, I think it makes the game go slower, which makes it boring. And it's mean still, because you can yeah. make someone spend their money, because you know that's worth points see, that, at the that, end. That, But that's how bidding games work anyway. Um, okay. uh, but I think I, think I know for sale. See, and for sale, I don't hardly ever bid anybody up. I just like to keep the money to myself, yeah. and I'll just take the bad cards. So yeah, that's a good that's a good comparison because for sale, we like that game. We've yeah. played it a lot. Our boys like it too. And so that's a bidding game that we very much enjoy. Mm -hmm. We don't en enjoy this game uh, as a bidding game. Did you not like it? As well, a let's see what game I said. Honey? Okay, because Julie has not seen my. No, reason. I haven't. Okay, so it's typical component quality, it's average. So remember, we come up with these separate. So if we're saying the same things, we don't confer with each mm -hmm. other. So, I mean, it's it's okay. Uh, and I guess I'll show you on camera here, just real quick so you can see. It's, I mean, the it's cardboard. Paper, car yeah, cardboard. The cardboard is, you know, it's okay. It's not super thick. But again, this is not an expensive game either. The card quality uh -huh. is typical. Uh, Lost City card quality. Yeah, I mean it's it's okay. Yeah. I mean it's not terrible. It's easy to shuffle. Okay, rounded edges. Yeah. That's okay. Like that. It's average. Yeah. But they they don't have uh, they call it a linen finish. Oh. What it really is, it's a foil stamp. Oh. Uh, it's a it's a. Uh, to make it last longer. Yeah, it okay. gives it a more sturdier quality. Gotcha. Uh, so anyway, it's it's average, and that's okay for the price point. It's not supposed to be super duper mm. awesome. That's a new way to put it. Huh? <laughs> I like that. Okay, so it may not work well as a two-player game. That's how we play it. Some people might say, this is a great three- or four-player game. We wouldn't know. Wouldn't and it shouldn't have to be that way. Because if it is a good game to play with three or, uh, three or four players, then it should be a game that says three or four, three or four players, not two, 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 two to, to four. four players. Yeah. And that's on the publisher. If you're going to release something that can be played with two players and it's not a good experience, this is the kind of review you're going to get then. Yeah. Unless there's people that really like this game as a two-player game. And they probably do, and that's okay. Yeah, they yeah. might. They just don't. Okay, I just like the bidding system too. I don't think it works well. Because mm. it's pretty much like, okay, I know that you don't need that, so I know I'm going to win the bid unless you're going to bid me up. Exactly. And I don't remember seeing anything in the rules that you have, you can keep your coin secret. I don't remember seeing it. Yeah, you said that. you looked that up and you didn't see uh, it. It might be there. I don't remember it being there. Yeah. And it could be that I just missed it. Yeah, okay. Maybe. I guess you could make your coin secret like you do in a. Uh, uh, for sale. For sale. Either way, I don't think I'd like it anyway. No. So as predictable as the game progresses. So you yeah. see, when we do the playthrough, we're flipping up. Oh, can't, none of us can use this card. It gets rid of. Nobody can use this card. This becomes like, yeah, whatever. Let's just get the game over with. Exactly. Towards the end. Exactly. Kind of starts out very strategic mm -hmm. at first, but then after a while, you're like, eh, let's get it over By with. By about the third stack, you're kind of like, ugh, okay. Okay, so you know that I have a thing for rule books. <laughs> and what I, why I have to say it's difficult to read, because it commits one of the cardinal sins that rule book uh, graphic designers like to do. And they need to stop doing this. Uh-oh. They need to put stop putting uh, uh, watermarks in the background. Look at that. Oh, gosh, you Okay, now, it. on the camera in the sliding, it says, well, what's wrong with that? Well, if you're looking at it not on the camera, this is so dark, and I have to, and you have to read very carefully. It makes it a struggle. So comprehension mm -hmm. is effective. I mean, look right here. It yeah. makes it very dark there. But you might be thinking on camera, it looks good. It, it's much darker when you don't have great light, uh, the best lighting. True. And I should not have to read this under a bright uh, lit room like in a classroom to see it. Okay. <laughs> so I made fun of this in one of my rule book evaluation videos. Stop doing this. Okay. Just because it looks cool doesn't mean you should do it. It's terrible. And the uh, research says this. And again, this is where I get on my high horse. Okay. Research says not to do this. And this is this is in all industries. Uh, BGG users say not to do this, mm -hmm. and the experts that I that in the industry with de with uh, d dozens of, of of publications that are in their belt mm -hmm. say not to do this. Okay, you need to have high contrast on your rule books. I mean, you need to have basically a very light background and dark text, not a dark watermark 
Mm-hmm. So, all right. So I, I like to take the opportunity to point out. Otherwise, it's written okay. It's all not, right. It's, I mean, it's kind of hard to reference because I couldn't find what I wanted to when True. I wanted to. But it's, all, it's very uh, hard, it's hard to comprehend with that watermark. Okay. Okay, so there you go. That was my getting irritated. Uh, that's irritated David. Now it's time to show you how we ranked it for the BGG ratings. All right, so here we go. So when we do our ratings, we base it on the BGG 1 through 10. And so for us, we both said, now Julie doesn't know what I rank it. I ask her, what do you rank it as? And I already know my ranking because i got to set up the, the slides. Right. So we don't know. We didn't know that we're going to both rate it Mm-mm. mediocre. The reason why we say take or leave it, at least for me, is because I would be willing to try this as a three- or four-player game. I'd be willing. Yes. But if it doesn't work well as a three- or four-player game, our rating might drop down to a four or a three. And do plays as a two-player again? I won't do it. I'll, I'll leave it. I, I would much rather play. We have so many other wonderful right. two-player games. I'd much rather play. So we'll keep it in our collection for now until mm-hmm. we play it as a three- or four-player yeah. game. But if we have to get down our collection, down to a certain manageable this size, might go. this is probably... Uh, out of the four, yeah. this is the one we'll get rid of first. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So, but again, we say this not knowing what it's like to play with a three or four player game. Right, and this is just remember, you know, this is our opinion. It doesn't mean that this is the rule or anything like that. Well, they didn't know that. You know, you guys might find it that it's super fun, and that's great. But but you watch it to get our opinion. Yep. Okay, and if you're a rule book writer. Or a graphic designer doing the backs of boxes. You at least have my feedback on that. And I have no say on that. You do have a say. You thought it was too dark, too. Oh, I did think, yeah. But, I mean, yeah. when it comes to reading the back, I, I kind of like look at the pictures and stuff. But I know, but you've seen other games that do a much better job than this. I think so. Yeah. But David, so. honestly, is the one that really is the one that buys our games and stuff. And so, yeah. um you know, I kind of just go with the flow. But I only include that in reviews for those who are in the, in the industry or who, who want to start their own company or who are going right. to write rule books. Right. But if you're watching this from a consumer point of view, uh, well, I guess an educational point of view, there is educational mm-hmm. value in here. Uh, I just, I'd just i rather play other games, though, over yeah. this. With I'd rather play for sale with my kids. Yeah. That's if I was going to play that, because I have played that with my gifted and talented kids. Oh. Okay. And I would, I would rather play that over this. this yeah. Well, yeah. there so you there go. You go. All right, so that is for sale rivals. No, not for sale, Lost Cities rivals. <laughs> so that was a, a slip there because I was thinking <laughs> I'd rather play for sale. <laughs> so this is Lost Cities Lost rivals. Lost Cities rivals. So there you go. That tells you. Oh, that kind of summarizes how, what, how, what I think of it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye bye. Bye.